Hitting 30 years of being one of the biggest fighting game franchises, Mortal Kombat has brought over 11 titles to the series and over 70 playable characters. And of those 70 characters, these are my top 10 most underrated characters in Mortal Kombat and why they need more love. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. So first and foremost, let me start off by saying this is my top 10 underrated list, meaning that the characters on this list might not match your opinion of who you might think is underrated. I just think these characters need more love and they need to be in more game, or they're just not used enough, or they get hated on when they don't need to be. And in no particular order, number one on my list is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters ever, and that is Tremor. Tremor in MKX was an absolute animal and such a beast. Mortal Kombat X was actually the first game that we actually got to see Tremor to his fullness, like to his top potential, and I loved it. I love Tremor so much, and I was actually disappointed that we didn't get him in MK11 because I was like, man, can you imagine that character, his gear, his moveset in MK11? Bro, bring Tremor back. Number two, a lot of you might not agree with me. He is one of my main characters, so I might be biased here, but Raiden, as a Raiden main in all MK9, X, and 11, I hardly ever fought other Raidens online. And when people found out that I main Raiden, they're like, wait, what, really? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like one of the main characters in Mortal Kombat. Plus he went on dark mode in MKX, that was dope. Like bro, give Raiden some more love. Number three on my list is Nightwolf. Underrated for a minute, and then they finally brought him back in MK11, which I love. And he was done so good in MK11, I loved it. But again, one of those characters that like you, no one really plays, and I'm like, why he's so good? Number four is Kenshi. They did my boy Kenshi dirty. And I know Kenshi has a massive love following, but I think it needs to be bigger, man. Bring back my boy Kenshi. A blind telepathic ninja? Like, bro, yeah. This next one, you some of y'all might not agree with me again. I'm gonna say Bo Rai Cho. Bo Rai Cho does not get enough love at all. Even when they brought him to MKX, everyone was like, wait, what? Why Bo Rai Cho? Like, bro, hello? He is an outworld born master of the drunken fist, and he's also a major ally to Raiden. He's also a master of the Shaolin Monks. Personally, I loved his gameplay in MKX and I wanna see it again. Give some more love to my boy, Bo. <laughs> Guys, with that being said real quick, let me know down below who in your opinion in the Mortal Kombat franchise is the most underrated character and why? Again, let me know down below. Next on my list is Jax. Now, some of you might argue that Jax is overrated because he's in almost all the games, but I think, honestly, he's underrated, man. People just don't give him enough love. He is an amazing, fun character. His origin story is dope, too. Like a big buff dude with metal arms? Dude, get out of here. I feel like Jax is that character that brings the realness to a somewhat fantasy world that kind of usually wouldn't mix, but it, it does for Mortal Kombat, and I dig it. Next on my list, is the Elder God himself, Fujin. I was actually really disappointed that they did not bring Fujin to MKX. Cause I was wanting him since MK9. And then we finally got him in MK11. God damn it, man, he was a blast to play. A little hard to master, but so much fun. I basically felt like I was playing an airbender, dude. You could be rain and be a waterbender and then go play Fujin and be an airbender. And then be a scorpion and be a firebender. And then play Tremor and be an earthbender. Master all the elements. Real quick, if you're enjoying this list, guys, make sure you subscribe for more. We have new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We stream twice a week. Number eight on my list is Shinnok. I thought Shinnok was a dope villain to have and I love the way they did him in MKX. And I was kind of disappointed to see him die by the hands of Cassie, but whatever. I want my boy to have that redemption arc and come back like the character that I know he can be. Dude, spawning like giant skeletal hands and stuff, you're basically a skeleton bender. You go from airbender to a skeleton bender. Next on my list is Havoc. Now Havoc made his debut in Mortal Kombat Deception and he helms from the Chaos Realm, which is dope. He's basically a cleric of all chaos and an anarchist. People see him as evil, but he's actually neither both. He's not good or evil. I think Havoc just really fits the vibe of Mortal Kombat and I'm surprised they didn't put him in 9, 10, or 11. Super underrated, and I think he needs to make a comeback for sure. Last but not least on my list is Takeda, a great addition to the Mortal Kombat roster that they introduced in MKX. At first, I was like, whoa, who are these kids? Like, why do we got Cassie? Why is Jackie? Who's Jackie? Like, why do we got Takeda? Who's Kung Jin? But Takeda was my favorite. Basically being the heir to the Shira Ryu, like how was he not in MK11? And where's he at now? Like, we need to see him in the next game. There are a ton of characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise. These were just the ones that I felt needed more love and are super underrated. Thank you so much for watching, my dudes. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take it one step at a time.